question 17. So um, all of these were simplifying. We said we're not going to be able to solve any of them. All the answers are going to include letters. So we're just trying to make them simpler, really. So what do we can do with part A? Well, we can't do anything with the D and the E other than just put them in alphabetical order. But we can do 7 twos of 14. So it's 14 times D times E, which is 14 DE. Now, the index law, when you're multiplying, you can add the powers. So 5 and 2 is 7. And when you're dividing, you can take away the powers. 11 take away 3 is 8. So C to the 8. Now, for part D, we are going to just end up multiplying these two numbers together. But it's, it's useful to remember why. Anything cubed m m means itself times itself times itself. So a to the power of 5 times a to the power of 5 times a to the power of 5. And then we can go back to the rule we used in part b. When we're multiplying, we add the powers. 5 at 5 at 5 is 15. So our final answer is a to the power of 15. Now for part e, we're being asked to expand first of all, which is getting rid of the brackets. So it's a couple of claws. And then another couple of claws. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times plus 3 is plus 12. Plus 2 times x is plus 2x. And 2 times plus 5 is plus 10. So that would give us one mark. We've expanded. And then simplifying, we're gathering like terms. So we gather up all our x's and we gather up our normal numbers. 8x plus 2x is 10x. And 12 add 10 is 22.